Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the PenRecorderPro.com uh, HD500 series. This is a ballpoint pen that also dubs as a uh, camcorder that records at a 1080p HD resolution. It has a rather impressive field of view and performance for such a small module. Uh, it's built as a spy pen as well, so you can discreetly record conversations, images, as well as take videos. And although it's not the most original concept, we've already seen some of these kind of spy pens in the past. This one does have perhaps one of the best performances we've seen yet, uh, although that does come at a slightly steeper price tag. This one has a retail price of roughly 130 bucks, which isn't cheap, uh, although sometimes it can be picked up for less when there's a promotion on Amazon or through the company's website. PenRecorderPro.com is also rolling out some other wearable tech, such as a sunglasses that has a camera module integrated on board, so you can check them out in the link down below. Otherwise, this one has some pretty fast shipping, it arrived within three days, and package contents includes the pen itself. You also have two pen refills. Uh, it's an ordinary black ink, which works pretty well, but although I do prefer using gel pens sometimes because it seems to flow a little bit better, but as far as standard pens go, this one definitely does work. There's an instruction manual that is well documented, shows off the various features, the contents of the packaging, how to set things up. Uh, also, the there are images printed in full color that shows you how to change settings on a computer, which is pretty nicely made and constructed. There's also an instant an extension cable included uh, because this one just uses a standard USB 2.0 port. You can plug it into this and then have a longer cable to then plug into your computer. Uh, it's a simple plug and play solution so you can just use any Mac or PC without having to install any extra drivers which is pretty convenient as well. Taking a look at the pen itself, it definitely has a substantial weight to it. Uh, it's a bit larger than your standard average uh, ballpoint pen. Here is one for example. So you can see kind of the size there, but overall it's not bad as far as these spy camcorder pens go. There is that substantial weight in the background because it, there are some metallic and aluminum accents, so uh, it does feel quite premium in the hand, which it should for something over a hundred bucks, I think. Uh, the, the barrel here can be twisted just to reveal uh, the ballpoint tip, and you can use that, of course, to doodle and to write. So just as a quick sample here of a piece of paper, I can do something. We can write something like, hi, and you can see that it does show up pretty well. It's a typical black ink. Uh, as far as uh, the overall fit and finish, it doesn't really stain or, or smear very easily, so it's good as a writing utensil as well. Although not anything, you know, overly extraordinary. Of course, you can get all the other refills, perhaps in different colors like red and blue, but this one again is just black. Make sure to retract that just to prevent the ink from drying out. Otherwise, there is a clip as well, which is pretty durable. That's made out of one piece of aluminum, allows you to clip it onto a short pocket, uh, which is the alignment point for the camera lens on the very top there. That makes recording a bit easier as well. Uh, you can see here that this particular clip, uh, the plastic part, might look like just a decoration, but actually is also the the, um, the part which can be used as a slider for powering the entire camera module on or off. So sliding all the way to the top, you can see that there's also a pop-up, uh, which is a bit of a protection for the lens. And when you're ready, slide that down, and then you have the lens fully exposed. So a pretty nice attention to detail there. Otherwise, it doesn't say anything else. Uh, originally, when this came, it did have a marker that said uh, the capacity, like 4 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes, but I removed that just to make things extra uh, discreet uh, so it's not as notable. The top feature is a simple uh, click key, which is pretty tactile and responsive, allows you to navigate through the various settings, such as taking video, taking a snapshot, powering the unit on or off, and there's also an LED light, which will sometimes uh, light up on the very back here just to tell you the status of the unit, but there's no display, so that is something a little bit tricky and takes a bit of acclimation to get used to, so make sure you do read the user manual on that. So setting things um, open, you can see there's another sticker on here. This particular variant does have 8 gigs of built-in flash storage, and it's just, again, that simple USB 2.0 lead, both for charging as well as for transferring data. Of course, it can also be used as a traditional thumb drive, but a little bit expensive for that, so you can use that, of course, to store any documents, PDF uh, images, videos, songs, or music, uh, and it works pretty well. It's not USB 3.0 speed, so it's not 5 gigabits per second, but fast enough for file transfers, I would say, and again, fast enough for transferring the 1080p files from here onto a computer. Uh, very simple, this uh, other barrel can just be twisted out just for rechanging the pen refills, and that is basically it. So as far as the design is concerned, pretty classy, not anything too shocking, and overall works pretty well. Again, for specifics in terms of operation, I really do recommend checking out that manual because uh, you do need to use it for toggling back and forth between the various modes, selecting things, and then you know knowing when you're taking an image, you can see that LED flash once, and knowing when you're recording video. So we're going to do a quick video clip in a moment.
So as shown from that video clip, you saw that the overall quality is pretty good. However, I will say that uh, the HD 500 doesn't have any image stabilization built in, not even a software one. So if you're shaking quite a bit, if you're jumping up and down, it does seem to kind of blur the image quality a bit more as well. With that being said, a wider field of view does help uh, kind of mitigate that, that effect to some extent, but definitely not completely. Uh, so be a bit more cautious, I would say. It's per perhaps still best suited for um, maybe if you're sitting down and if you're recording a conference, you're recording some notes or lectures, if you're a student, if you're a businessman, if you're you know someone who wants to do a few memos on the go, uh, this might be good. Uh, also good if you're sitting down maybe in a car and you're driving, so it acts as almost a, a dashboard camera for recording what's happening around you in the case that you know, there's an accident. For extreme action and sports, I still don't think this is the best option available. Um, you know, A, just because it's a pen, which is something that you probably won't carry around with you uh, for, for sporting purposes, and B, because the stabilization, you know, it, it gets quite rough with the video footage. However, if you are in a relatively stable environment, I will say that the image quality and video quality did surprise me. Uh, it was quite good, and the light as well as the saturation levels were pretty good. Uh, resolution is, is decent. It's a fixed focus camera. It's an infinity focus as opposed to autofocus as you would expect from such a small kind of module and overall it definitely does the job. Uh, colors look pretty natural and um, you, you do get that slightly fish ends effect with that wider field of view but uh, again a pretty good camera nonetheless uh, especially compared to past uh, spy kind of camcorders I've seen uh, which tended to have far worse uh, video and audio quality. This one does a decent job of picking up that sound as well, uh, again thanks to that wide field of view. So you can check out more details about the Pen Recorder Pro's HD500 series pen in our official written review with more details and article, but this has been our video. So thanks for watching here at OS Reviews and be sure to check out also some links down in the description box below. Thanks for watching.